Hey y'all, today we're making some sourdough discard mini muffins. Okay, so go ahead and get your oven preheat. You need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? So to our little small bowl, you're gonna need to add one cup of flour, that's a half cup measuring cup I'm using, so that's why I'm using two, but you need one cup of all-purpose flour. Then we're gonna add in one teaspoon of baking powder, and we're gonna add in one teaspoon of baking soda. Okay, we're gonna get that added in. We're gonna get this all mixed up. Take your little tiny whisk and just kind of mix it all in there good. And then we're gonna set it over to the side until we're ready for it. Okay, we're gonna get our wet ingredients put together and then we'll add this to it when we're ready for it. Okay, so then you're gonna need sort of a medium sized bowl. You're gonna add to that four tablespoons of melted butter. Then you're gonna add in a teaspoon of vanilla. Yes, that's still the cheap vanilla. Let's not talk about it. Then we're gonna add in one third of a cup of plain old white sugar, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and get this mixed up a little bit. We need to add some eggs to this recipe and that butter is really, really hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and just mix it in good with that sugar. Well, for one, to kind of get the sugar mixing in, you know, mixed in there, mixed in to the butter, whatever I'm trying to say, but also to try to cool that butter down just a little bit so that we don't scramble our eggs when we add those to this bowl, okay? So once you get that mixed up, we're gonna add in two eggs. Mine were not room temperature do whatever you want to do you know i just didn't take them out this day so it is what it is so add your two eggs in there and then i'm going to whisk that up a little bit just to kind of get that egg mixed in because i don't want to have to work so hard to try to get the egg mixed in to everything else and end up with streaks of egg in my muffin mix you know so anywho just mix it up good and y'all if you hadn't figured it out yet or if you don't know these are sort of the dupe for the little bites, the little mini muffins you can buy in the packages, you know, like at Walmart or whatever grocery store. So that's what we're making. And this recipe makes a ton. It doesn't look like a whole lot, but it makes 48 of these muffins, okay? So once you get your egg all mixed in, you're gonna add in one cup of milk, and I'm using just regular 2% milk. Then you're gonna add the star of the show, your sourdough discard, okay? So we're gonna add in a half of a cup of our discard. And I normally take my discard out and let it kind of come, you know, warm up just a little bit, like, cause it's so cold in the refrigerator, like kind of let it come to room temp a little bit. But I'm not doing that for this particular recipe, okay? Um, I just didn't, it turned out fine. If you wanna let yours sit out, you can, but it's not necessary. But just know that if you're working with your discard and it's cold like this, it's gonna be a lot thicker and it's gonna be super, super sticky, okay? So just just know that, you know, just be prepared for it, it'll be fine. And y'all don't say nothing about me putting my finger in this measuring cup here in just a second to get this <laughs> starter out. I didn't have a spoon by me and it had to come out of there and my hands are clean. So don't worry about it, my hands are clean, I promise. So then you're just gonna take your big whisk and you're gonna whisk that all together until it's all good and combined. Then we're gonna take that dry mixture that we put together and we're gonna put that right over in there. And I don't know why I started out mixing this with a darn spoon. I guess I was so excited that I'd finally put a spoon in my hand. And I was like, what are you doing with this big lumpy mess you've got going on here? But you know, I'm not gonna give up until the very end. So finally, I got my life together and realized I was gonna need my whisk for this. So I just gave up on my little, my little silicone spoon there and I whisked it together, okay? Whisk it up real good, y'all. Just make sure everything's good and combined. Then once you get that mixed up, it's a little on the thin side. So what we're gonna do is take a little kitchen towel and we're gonna put it right over the top of this bowl and we're gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes. Okay, we're going to let it sit for about 10 minutes just to kind of thicken itself back up a little bit. And you can see, see it got a little bit thicker and that way it's a little bit more like muffin consistency. Okay, 
So then you're going to need, I only have one mini muffin pan that has like, it holds 14, 14, 24. It has, you know, you can make 24, but like I said, this makes 48. So I had to uh, do this in two batches, but if you have two pans, you can do it all in one. And I did not mix my add-ins in with the batter because I'm making the three different kinds. We're making, if I didn't say this, chocolate chip, sprinkles, and blueberry. So I didn't mix it in because obviously we have three different things. And I just did not have it in me to take out three bowls to try to split this up to mix stuff in. So you can do it either way. If you want to split it into bowls and mix your stuff in, you certainly can. Um you know that's on you do what you want to do but you're going to fill these little muffin cups up about three quarters of the way and then you're going to add whatever little add-ins you want in your muffins my son actually told me after he tried some of these he was like oh mama do banana nut next <laughs> but i don't know how that would work because they're so tiny i don't know i'm gonna have to figure it out though because i do love me a banana nut muffin so, all right, what you're going to do is take your sprinkles. These are just some sprinkles that I had um, just in the cabinet, you know, from Walmart. And I'm just going to do a little handful and just sprinkle those on, six of these. And then I'm going to do some mini chocolate chips because these are mini muffins. So you don't want the big chocolate chips. But if all you have is big chocolate chips, just see if you can maybe kind of chop them up a little bit. I don't know. They're chocolate, I mean, the big ones would just really be big on these little tiny muffins. But anyway, it is fine. It'll be fine either way, y'all. So I sprinkled those on. And then I had some of these, like, um, dried blueberries. You know, kind of like a, a raisin is. That's kind of the, the consistency of these. And maybe everybody knew they made these. But I don't know why I never knew that they made them like this. But I saw them when I was at Walmart the other day. So I was like, well, let me get some of those. So that's what I'm using. And they're smaller than the regular blueberries. So anyway, use what you want. So once you get them all put in there, you're going to put these in the oven, 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 13 to 15 minutes. Mine took exactly 13 minutes. 13 minutes, I pulled mine out. They were done. So there they are. You can see that my blueberries and my chocolate chips kind of sunk to the bottom of my muffins, which is fine because these are just mini muffins anyway. So you're going to eat them in one bite. So it's not going to matter. It'll be just fine as long as you know which muffins are which if you have a preference. So once they were done, I let them cool just for a minute and then I popped them out of the muffin pan and I put them on a little cooling rack just to cool all the way down. And like I said, I had to do this in two batches. It made 48 muffins, y'all. A whole lot. Once they cooled, I just put them over in Ziploc bags and that's it. We just snacked on them out of the Ziploc bags. But this is them, y'all. I wanted y'all to see the inside so you could see how wonderful they look. But y'all got to try these. All right. That's all I've got for y'all today. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Bye, y'all.